Hello, brothers and sisters of the bar. Professor Jeremiah here. Been a nice day today. Not quite as hot as it was over the weekend. And that, I have to say, is a good break for a change. Dance Dad Piper was over on Friday, and we enjoyed an evening of watching Father of the Flame. And if you've not seen Father of the Flame yet, it's available on Amazon. You can rent it or purchase it. I just went on ahead and purchased it. It's about around, I think, 10 bucks. An hour and a half documentary on two, primarily two pipe making families. It did wander off in one direction that I wasn't really sure why they had put it in there. It didn't fit to me. And that was the stone pipe carving. Interesting, but didn't really fit the documentary that I, we were watching. I, I wished if they were going to have gone in that direction, they would have focused more on Meerschaum, pipe harvesting and collecting. But of that, what was really great to see was the harvesting and processing of Briar itself. That was really wonderful to see how they go out and, and choose the Briar and just showing how you can run into a lot of bad spots of the Briar and ultimately how it's just a small percentage of even the Briar that's harvested that can be used in our pipes. Maybe as an idea for a documentary in the future, is they can cover Cobbs and they can cover Meerschaum. Uh, it'd be very interesting for sure to, to see that. I do wish they talked a little bit more on tobacco itself as well, and maybe just highlighted some of the differences between pipe tobacco and cigarette tobacco. I know a lot of people that watch this documentary and really won't know a whole lot about tobacco, so that'd have been good to have added that, but. I'm sure, again, I know you're pressed for time, so I, I'm very familiar with filmmaking myself, so I know that time can, can be precious. We also went to the Country Squire on Saturday and had a wonderful visit there. I think we were there for about three hours, met a couple of interesting folks, and I'm sure we were interesting people ourselves being in the Squire. Let me read a little poem to you today. I didn't write this poem, but I wanted to share it with you. It's entitled, Ned's Delicate Way. Ned knew I was short of tobacco one day and that I was too proud to ask for it. He hated such pride, but his delicate way forbid him to take me to task for it. I loathed to be cadging tobacco from Ned, but when I was just on the brink of it, I've got a new brand of tobacco, he said. Try a smoke and let's know what you think of it. Henry Lawson, born 1867, passed in 1922. Australian writer and bush poet. I really enjoyed it because I think that that's a position that we've all been in. Whether being the receiver or the giver, sometimes it can be a bit delicate. This afternoon I was sending off a package of a few samples of tobaccos which I enjoyed to a friend of mine just so he could have a variety to choose from and one that I sent was some squadron leader. I opened up this tin, it's from 2014 and as I was loading some up in a little packet to send to him I thought you know it's been probably three months or so since I've smoked squadron leader. Whether it's the age or due to me having smoked some heavier Latakia blends, this Latakia doesn't seem to be that overwhelming. This one might even be a good morning time blend. Normally I start off the mornings with Father Dempsey Kramer blend. remember the very first time that I ever smoked Squadron Leader, I thought, oh, how can I smoke this? And I smoked another bowl. By the fifth bowl, I was looking at the tin and thinking, this tin's almost getting low here. What am I going to do? <laughs> I was hooked. 
I always tell people, you should smoke a few bowls of a blend before you say, this blend's not for me. And try it out. Don't be so quick to, don't be so quick to throw a blend out the door. This evening we have our regular Zoom meetup. It'll be at 6.30 Central Standard Time. I'd love to see you there. I'll have the information down in the bucket below. We normally go for two hours. If for some reason you turn in, tune in at 8.30 Central Time and nobody's there, it's just we had a good meeting and it wrapped up early. But I would love to see you there. We've had a, a great group of folks and it's been wonderful just getting to know each other better. And we talk about all kind of things. So you never know what direction the topic's going to go in. And I've seen people pop in uh, long after 6.30, probably about 7, 7.30. And suddenly the topic goes in a complete different direction with our new edition. So know that you're welcome. Happy Cobb Tuesday. And God bless.